some tea with me. already know you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that is pretty on purpose how you doing all right so let me just tell y'all I went to my P.O. box and when I opened it up I was over excited because somebody gave me my own what is it called garlic gatlet I call it the hit thing so anyway it has messy Monday got them so we love you whatever the case may be messy Monday got them so we love you so y'all know I'm about to wear this but anyway so let's get into all this carrying on carrying on because the girls were doing a whole lot a whole lot of and I just want to talk about it, because girl, y'all know me, I'm here for the mess. So, with that being said, first of the doctor, we have Jalen and Naya. Well, they're not beefing with each other, but they just was in the mess. So anyway, Jalen and Naya, they are a YouTube couple. They've been going together for whatever the case may be. He real fine and stuff, real chocolate, like a little Hershey kiss. <laughs> Mr. Good Bar, but wow, don't you hit me up, Naya. But anyway, they were going together, child. And come to find out, they have broke up. And like they say, they break up behind the scenes. At a point in time, we broke up. We broke up. Like, we times. broke up we for really a couple months. Argument. We had a bad argument. Like, and we never tell other people our business because what we know is we only have to explain. Yeah, we don't. We don't have to explain it to, to nobody, nobody else. Just us. Yeah. Well, while they had broken up behind the scenes, a video had got leaked. Now, the way the video got leaked. She said that she was talking to somebody during their separation and he was talking to somebody else. And honey, come to find out the boy she was talking to asked her to send her some video. So when we had broke up, I was talking to somebody. I'm pretty sure he was talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. And um, things went wrong. Um, I did my dirt. Um, I was talking to some guy and um, we was talking for like a couple months or whatever. And then he asked me to send him a picture. A picture and then he asked me to send something else now when you know it on youtube and when you know it on instagram or anything social media whatever you can't be sending pictures and videos like that girl you just can't do that girl but when you horny you horny and i guess she was horny and at this point i'm stuck like i'm stuck in the middle i don't know what to do i felt like he was out to get me so i'm like what should i do like i'm stuck and he asked me for like a video or whatever. And girl, she sent the videos and stuff. I mean, I can't plan that in my business. I don't want to see him. I don't really care about all that tuna fish stuff. But she sent it. He saw it. He leaked it. Period. After I start sending those or whatever, he asked me to come chill with him. Yes, I did. And um, we start doing like stuff. Like we smoked and everything. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> It is what it is, buddy. And so when he put it out, the fans started seeing it. It started circling across the internet. And then all of a sudden, they were like, oh my God, she cheated on Jalen. Well, Jalen said she did not cheat on them. They was broken up. We first start off by saying this video is old as hell. I've been new about this video. It's not nothing new to me. So y'all can stop being it to me because it's not nothing new to me. I already know I've been seeing this video. And Jenna did not cheat on me neither. I, yeah, I did not cheat. cheat. She did not cheat on me. I did not cheat. So whatever the case may be, the video got out. It got leaked. But what I don't understand is, so I feel Nair is the guy she was talking to and he got mad and he leaked him. <laughs> because girl, you mean to tell me you and your boyfriend break up, you was only talking to this man for two months and you already sent him some nasty pictures? Girl, you know what, girl? You just a whole whole girl. You is a whole thought pocket, girl. Period. <laughs> nasty. I'm not going to send nobody no naked pictures like that. Not after no two months or not. I don't even send them, period. So that's like the truth or whatever. So I was taken advantage of getting emotional because I'm embarrassed. But then again, I I like to prepare myself. I prepare myself for it. But so he, um, I'm stuck, like confused. I don't know what to do. So he started demanding me, like telling me, Send this, send this, say this, or say baby, this. Don't start crying, baby. I hear your voice, baby. Don't, it's okay, baby. You know I'm not. Stop. You gonna make me cry. I'm sorry, baby. So, um, okay. come on. I'm stuck in the middle. It's really hard for her to do this video, too. But, you know, I think Nayir set her up, or her and Nayir broke up, and he leaked them to this story that came over to give to us, and this what we supposed to go for. Uh-uh. I ain't falling for it. He did it. She know it. They disguising it. Things went wrong. Um, I did my dirt. Um, I was talking to some guy and 
um we was talking for like a couple months or whatever so not here if you want somebody to um come and holler at you my dms are open i am zoe on instagram um got them zoe is my twitter hit me up you real chocolate you real fine and stuff so you know <laughs> it is what it is you got a pretty smile baby <laughs> Y'all had give a whole cookie jar to everybody. My cookie jar is still untouched. Well, well, next time. <laughs> anyway, not yet. Hey. Hey. Okay, 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 okay. Back to the story. It's just the internet that make it seem like y'all be trolls or something. So it make it seem like this was yesterday or this was. Cause we, well, we not mad about that though. Cause we already know how the internet works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we already know how to do it. Yeah, we already know, know and we already prepare we ourselves. Prepare ourselves for this. But. If it ain't about me, girl, they all saw your cookie. Next day, next one, okay? We have Nina and Keith. Again, they not going at it with each other, it's they're going at it with somebody else. So this is a continuation from last Monday. Well, after I had posted my video last Monday, they had posted another video explaining the whole situation. So I couldn't let everybody go and um my daughter not go. So, so at that point, at, back in the day, when we first, was, before we went, you told us, that that we was gonna get bashed because she said that Queen was a colorism. Yeah, she I'm had like, that colorism scam. I'm like, they didn't have to do with us. I'm like, I mean, we exactly. Know. So she was like, oh, y'all gonna get bashed if y'all be in Queen video because y'all know what she be saying about dark skins. We like, we haven't even heard her say nothing bad. She's not a bad person. All, she great good vibes to us all the time. So when that happened, when we got on the phone with her, it was a whole different story. She was blaming everything on everybody. She was like, oh, the only reason why I didn't want y'all to go or I told y'all not to go is because my daughter said that um, she didn't want to be in Queen's shadow. Neek also explained how she hit Ari up and the mama was just a whole mess. The mama at the end of the day is a mess. She's a mess. She out here exposing people, turning people against people. Just fraudulent. Mama's fraudulent, honey. At the end of the day, all this boils back down to the mama. She's a mess. So she said, okay, so what y'all got going on? Seriously, are we moving strategically or in silence? If so, I understand. I just prefer to honestly, I mean, I just prefer honesty. Like we always been with each other. Wait, after she sent that paragraph, she texts after the, she texts back and mm -hmm. said, no, no worries. worries. What a winky, winky face. What a winky face. What a emoji. winky emoji. So then mind you, they also said, that the mama, she had a two-step verification going to her phone. She had their email address, everything going to her phone. The recovery email going connected to her phone. Kid you not, we didn't know that this lady had that much control over our account at the time. So listen. So we trusting this lady that, oh, she ain't going to do no snake stuff to us. So listen now, at this moment when she says, no worries with a winky face, now we are in battle mode for our own, own account. account. We're She's battling. changing stuff. In our account, so we finally got into our account because I remember the password. So the old password because I couldn't change my password because all the recovery stuff was on her phone. Y'all said y'all didn't know any of this. How did you not know any of this? But how did she get access to all that stuff if y'all didn't know she had access to all this stuff? Somebody lying. At the end of the day, somebody lying. I don't know if this is a scam. I don't know if y'all playing with us. I don't know what's going on. But you said. You didn't know that the mama had all this information because y'all was battling trying to change the codes and stuff. But how did she get that information? So she changes stuff the same time we trying to change stuff. Um, we got a thing. We got a, a notification to our phone saying your recovery email has been changed. Oh, uh, your number. You got the. You still got the, like the messages and stuff. Like I that? think so. I don't know. And then people would hit me up saying that that was a contract that they were supposed to sign, but they didn't sign it because they said that that contract was stupid. But how did the mama get the two-step verification, all that other stuff, if y'all say that they didn't sign the contract? I guess y'all saying, um, so smooth or whatever didn't sign it, all the other folks didn't sign it, but Nikki King f***ed up and signed it. I don't know. Anyway, off all that, because this is just so confusing. I mean, I just don't understand how all this stupidity got involved when y'all got the written information and documents all in front of you. Why would you sign anything? Why would you agree to anything? Why would you get somebody your two-step verification? Why would you get somebody your backup email? Anything. Period. Stupid. But, come to find out, after Nika King had posted that video, then here come Corey. Corey come out, and he posts all these <laughs> Just all this with Corey, have a seat, because after reading these tweets, I don't even know what the hell Corey talking about. He, he tweet how he talks. 
slow. He must be typing with his tongue. I don't know. But anyway, that ain't nobody is because he's my baby and I love him and he's fine and we're gonna get married. And then in the midst of all that, Ari's boyfriend, y'all know Trey Fields or whatever case it be, he comes out and he tweets, no good business moves at all. Then he said, all oh, this is nonsense. It's dead ass. Honey, you can say that because you're not getting affected by the situation because that girl is your girlfriend and her mama's on your side. So you're not getting affected or you probably are, but because it's your girlfriend, you just blindsided by everything. You just like, whatever it is, it is what it is. I don't know. You know, some people do anything to get famous. Moving right along. King ends up putting up a picture on his Instagram and Mr. Kid comes out and this is what he had to say. Shake my head. You and your girl must be the police. YouTube and all your friends business online. Where's the kid, baby? Honey, see, now this is him telling the truth. Where's the kid basically just out at the mama by saying you putting all your people business online. Like what happened between y'all should stay between y'all. But if y'all get over, you should be able to do whatever you want to do. If you want to take it online, take it online. If you want to take it to court, take it to court. So Rich Kid basically just confirmed everything. Then King replies back with, this is cute, lol, this ain't nothing, this ain't got nothing to do with you. You just focus on working on getting Ari to the next level. Rich the Kid, don't play with my top, stay in ATL. Don't play with my top. What you mean, like giving you head or something? <laughs> I play with your child. But anyway, so um, if y'all didn't know, Ari, I guess, is signed to Rich the Kid's label, and Rich the Kid is supposedly supposed to be like, you know, managing her or something like that, getting her music out. I didn't even know the girl sang or whatever, but I guess she sang, honey. I ain't never heard nothing. They say she was in the Shadows of Queen. It looked like she really is in the Shadows of Queen. Queen's a singer, Queen's a YouTuber. Now Ari we doing it. I, girl, I ain't, ain't none of my business, girl. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just here to spill the tea. Then King also replies back, Lil Uzi Vert, come get your kid because he out here jumping in front of everybody's dick. Why is King so infatuated with dicks and tops and stuff? My DM is I am up. <laughs> anyway, moving along. So Rich the Kid comes out and he says, bro, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Uh, and then he said, you a child because um, I don't care what you do, just look like you snitching. Okay, if you want to snitch, you can snitch. And Rich, why you out here talking about he snitching? Ain't you in custody about some children and, and paying child support and your wife stuff? So you need to be worried about that and not that YouTube drama. <laughs> what boy? I got nothing to do with it. I'm just here to spill the tea. So then King come back and he said, boy, I don't give a fuck about you being a millionaire. You a bitch and you a pussy. I'll beat you up. <laughs> beat you up? Who says that anymore? When you just say, I'll beat your ass, I'm not the shout you. He said, I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> How old are we? Wait a minute, can we? I ain't going to get these people ages. Okay. And he said, I'll beat you up bad as a big son for playing with me and my girl. Girl, you know what? At the end of the day, I ain't got time for it. Ain't nobody finna beat up nobody. Ain't nobody finna do nothing. All y'all just talking over the internet. Rich the Kid, where did you come from? <laughs> Shouldn't you be working on the song in the studio? Ain't you supposed to be paying your child support? Didn't you get a divorce? What is going on? And then they got, ooh. <laughs> ooh bye. So no, this is a whole lot, a whole lot. This story really is starting to stress me out. I'm just like, at the end of the day, y'all got scammed. Mama's a scammer. And they come to find out the mama, they pulled her justice. And she used people's social security numbers and fake fraudulent documents to get her kids into school. You know what? She scammed these people at the end of the day, period. I ain't got no more to say. She just been outed. All right. So if it ain't about me, your mom took all of the money. Next game. Next one, okay? We have Miss Hilarious versus Black China and her mama Tokyo. Okay, y'all, this is funny to me. So, Black China came out with this little bleaching cream. Jess came out and she said something about it. So then, Tokyo, <laughs> Black China's mama, she didn't really like what Jess had to say and Tokyo went hanging. Don't you ever, ever with her. You came for her about some skin cream, all you needed. Take a lay of that dirt off your face. Maybe we might find out who the you really are. She a light skin. Why the not sell some cream? She ain't doing no bleaching, bitch. She was a baby coming out my looking like a goddamn whole Italian mother. Okay, now I don't know why Tokyo but need to say what she had to say. She said some of y'all dirty girls need a girl. First of all, you don't own that little dirty. Now, if you look at them eyelashes, I don't know who did them, but your cousin from the basement need to stop doing your eyelashes because they look a fool. And she look like a bag of Newports anyway. 
and uh, her lips look like black and miles. So, sweetie, let's keep it cute, okay? You like a whole porta potty sitting outside of a concert. Trash shit! Anyway, so Jess made a little comment. She was just, you know, trolling her back. And so then Tokyo really decided to go in. Don't talk about me no more, Jess. Keep my daughter's name out your mouth, ho. It's too much in the world to do, bitch. You can talk about sex trafficking, but you'll never do that, you weak ass. You'll never do a food drive, you flirping ass boy, man looking mother you bitch. You'll never do that, though, will you? Are you pulling the blankets together for the mother in your own community, Jess? Nah, you too busy pissing and shit on your own mother self and your family, you dumb mother. Yeah, because you're not funny, bitch. You're not funny. I'm just the hilarious, and I'm not funny. Suck a bitch. Facts. Constantly comment. And so now after I saw that video, I said, oh, girl, she just smell like menthol, tobacco, and trash. Like, why she got on that hard rock cafe? She must be on break, sipping on that wine cooler. How do you drop off the wine coolers in the car? <laughs> on your break from the hard rock cafe. Beats me. Black China's father is not here for just hilarious jokes. <gasps> oh, wow. Bitch, first of all, wake up. Bitch, these zombies are getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, she said that, and then Jess came back around and said, <laughs> you still like to see dreams. I said, I said, yeah. Jess, you dirty. <laughs> yeah, you, so that made, I know that made uh, Tokyo my mad, because she was like, all that you said, taking up for your daughter, and at the end of the day, girl, you still like to see dreams. <laughs> Um, Black China was like, you know what? Let me kind of step in and help my mama. So now Black China, she tried to be petty. She followed Jess's ex-boyfriend. And then, um, you know, all that bullshit. And I was like, oh, girl, he broke anyway. You ain't able to do no with him, girl. You like your men to have money, girl. And she was just trolling. And Jess didn't fall for it. So then all of a sudden, Jocelyn, I think that's her name, she came in and she was agreeing with what Tokyo mama said. And Jess was like, baby, first of all, let me tell you something. You got something to say? What's, what's this about? And Jocelyn didn't say nothing else, girl. She kept it quiet. She kept it cute, bitch. She knew what was up. So after all that, Black China Mama made one more video. You ain't stupid. You just got your feelings hurt. And I do apologize for calling you a man looking nothing at But you still ain't for what you do, bitch. And I'm not mad at you. I can say the I got to say. I went to sleep good last night and had peace of time. In fact, you ain't fuck with Who's there? Me? Meaning, unbothered. And Jess was just like, you know what? Okay, girl, you got it. I love you too, girl. Like, <laughs> now you just dragging it, boo. So, honey, I don't know, girl. It is what it is. Ain't nobody gonna fight nobody, but it is what it is. If it ain't about me, let's geeky. Next case. Next to the docket, we have Queen and Lil So y'all know that the Soul Train Music Awards just passed. I'm not even gonna get too much into it because y'all gonna be like, Zo, you don't like Queen? I love Queen's music. I think Queen is amazing. I don't really say nothing about Queen. I say what the drama be going on. And y'all think I don't like her. I ain't got a problem with her. But anyway, so Queen was on the Soul Train Awards and she did R&B Cypher. Well, I'm not gonna lie. My favorite was Kelly Price. Everybody know Kelly Price sings down. So the Shade Room had posted Queen and everybody else, but they didn't post Kelly. So, I mean, I was really thinking that too. I'm like, why didn't they post Kelly? She was the best one out of all them people. And that's not no hate or nothing. And so I guess Lil Mo peaked it too. It's just like, you know what? You know, there were so many other people that you could have picked to be on the Soul Train R&B Cypher, but y'all picked Queen. And she feels as though they picked Queen because of her following and because of her look. Because the people that Lil Mo put on her page, I, no lie, hands down, can sing. Change me, oh God. Wash me through and through. Create. A clean heart 
so that I may Now you're here like you've been before And you know, you know, you know, you know just what I need It took some time for me to see about your following, your numbers, who can bring ratings up, and stuff like that. Not about pure talent. I just want, just want, just want, just want Why? Why so much pain? But he knows, he knows what's best for me. And that's what Little Mo was trying to get at, but people are so up their supporters butt that they don't see what the other person is trying to say. So Lil Mo was just basically saying there are other people who are talented that should have had a moment up there on that stage instead of Queen. But like I always say y'all, your moment and your time is your time. And that was just Queen's time. And Lil Mo should have just stayed quiet or she could have voiced it in a different way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not taking anybody, so I'm not saying neither one of them are wrong. Then Queen comes out and she says, I looked up to you, but it seems like you're just hating now. And I agree, Lil Mo should have just been like, you know what? You had your time, but I feel like this person is better. I don't know. It, I, I don't know, honey. It's just a whole lot of whole lot of. So then, little Mo, she's snapping that fast. She going off, and then she just, she's pressed, girl. I think, girl. I mean, at the end, of the day, I do feel she might be a little pressed. Maybe she wanted to be up on the stage. Queen is not bad, but Queen's voice can be found somewhere else. Queen said, "With time," and she also said in her tweet, "With time and with help, she's here to take any constructive criticism. She's here to take any lessons. She's going to end up being phenomenal." But just right now, she's just, she's she's learning her voice. But anyway, honey, I know, Lil Mo went ham, girl. I was just like, girl, this is a whole kiki, because I love Lil Mo. And Lil Mo, for y'all new kids, Lil Mo can sing circles around these girls. So, um, I don't know, girl. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just here for the mess. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to spill the tea. So, if it ain't about me, let's kiki. Next case. Will you have some tea with me? Tea with me.